this is when Dragon said it's at its absolute best, isn't it? When something like this happens, you hope to have someone like him walk through your doors with just such a brilliant idea. Absolutely. Uh, uh, and for me, it's the perfect thing when you've got great product, but actually good person behind it. Yeah, well, you drove a tough bargain there. You weren't going to let her have 30%, <laughs> were you? Well, I tried my best. <laughs> but, um, no, it was good. It you was good. You left school at about 13, didn't you? Yeah. And, and, and you were one of those people that had the teacher's voices ringing in your ear. You'll never make anything of yourself. Yeah, and I think that was kind of what's driven me, really. And I kind of thought, um, because I've got no GCSEs, it's always been kind of um, nothing's going to get handed to me on a plate, so kind of go out and get it mm -hmm. and just keep trying. Even if you get a few knockbacks, just keep going and keep going until you get there. So it was mentioned there in the VT that, um, that due to personal circumstances, you end up living with your grandparents yeah. and, uh, and you're converting the, the garage, I think, wasn't it, into, a, into yeah. a bit of a bedroom? Yes, yeah, so they had basically a small, a small bungalow, so they were converting the garage in half, basically, to make me a room. And I was Granddad being... Stanley, yep. who must, they must both be so proud oh, of. Oh, they really. must yeah. be. I can't imagine. And, uh, and so, so how did the idea start? What were you trying to do? We were actually trying to fix a curtain rail to a plasterable wall, so we just converted the garage, and um, I, was, I was 13 at the time, Grandma was 74, and uh, obviously we were trying to fix this curtain rail. He was holding the ladder, trying to tell me how to use a drill, because I'd only just... Well, I've never picked up a drill before. Um, I kept drilling and drilling, kept breaking every fix on the market, and then we just literally went out into the garden shed to try and find something that would work, so we just used anything we could to... Um, Come up with the. Mm. It's fair to say your granddad's an engineer. He yeah, wasn't just engineer. using bits yeah, of yeah, twigs yeah, and yeah, old yeah, things. No, that's, that's that's true. Kind of, there that's was a true. little bit of yeah, that. Bit of, uh, yeah, he's got the engineering background. Um, and then we came up with the, the solution of how it worked, how it fixed it, and then uh, it was. Kind so of it took a couple of days to figure out what you needed to do, but four years to get it to market. Yeah, so it um, took a couple of days to get the get the curtain the, 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 the curtain up, and then it was a case of just. Um, getting the patent granted, doing all the marketing, that kind of thing. And it's done extraordinarily years. well. I mean, it's a £10 million business, 32 countries, you employ 20 staff, that's about to grow because you're about to launch in Australia and in the US also. Yeah. Um, this is not your only business either. I mean, you really are an entrepreneur, lots of ideas that you've got. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, been, it's gone absolutely crazy, isn't it, since the den? So we're growing every every day, second as well. But actually, I mean, when they did the film up, catch-up programmes, the business was worth £10 million. It's probably added another couple of million since then because every time a new big contract comes on board you know it's and, and the US is a big one so your investment is now about 2.5 million pounds and above yeah absolutely it is I mean I put more money in I think yeah. by the end of this month I'll probably closer to a million I will yes. have uh, so it's so because every growing business needs working capital yeah. you know the, the even if the profits there that you know you need cash if you get a big order you got to buy. You got to buy the components to and it. You so. you love the pitch, even when the pitch went wrong because there was damp plasterboard, damp plasterboard which yeah. Peter had trouble with because the fixer actually didn't work. That was totally. And damp. you were impressed by that. Well, I I loved it. Well, two things were happening. I was thinking, oh good, everybody else is going to go out. <laughs> so that was a really good moment. But I was so impressed with the way Jordan just he didn't flap. You know, it was just no. That wasn't my fixing. That was the plasterboard. But you board. had to have a poker. You have a oh, poker face though. I was so. Have I? I don't know because my heart's pumping. I was thinking, oh, Peter's gone out. Yes. And, they, and they one by one went out and, and I honestly I sat there thinking am I the only one left you know it was so I, I know it was a really have you ever missed out on something like in hindsight you look back and go on, gosh I should have I should have gone for that I'm not a regret kind of person I can't I, well tango do you know I, I I don't mind being wrong if they go on and make a huge success yeah. and that might sound trite but that's true what a lovely reason to be wrong yes. I was wrong no, about tango right. and how brilliant it's gone to be well brilliant. good luck with all the other businesses you've got going and this I hope the launch in Australia and America go well